But, uh, but also, uh, but, but, it was, uh, but what remains found uh, the, the, is grounded by the architect, because the architecture has this uh, character of making things that, uh, uh, as a, a temporal and not only a spatial extension. Uh, but, um, well, I, I thought that uh, I was not uh, allowed to speak uh, of uh, the architecture, like, uh, uh, well, uh, I know the essence uh, of the architecture as a philosopher and so on. I just, uh, uh, well, stay at the margins uh, of uh, this topic uh, in order to say what are the impressions, not of the philosophy, but of a professor of philosophy, me, uh, about uh, uh, the, uh, the current state uh, of, uh, of architecture. <coughs> Secondly, uh, second uh, precision, uh, I'm not uh, uh, crying uh, on the destiny of the relationship of philosophy and architecture. Uh, I'm not sad. I have simply an irritation of the left eye, so that uh, this deep impression that I am sad, uh, but it's, uh, I'm not sad at all. It's like the bulldog. It seems uh, to be uh, sad, but uh, just, uh, just in order to, 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 to give. Uh, uh, well, so uh, the idea is uh, to point out, like uh, Derrida suggested uh, in La Verità Peinture, not uh, the ergon, the work, but uh, the parergon, what stays uh, uh, in the margins uh, of, uh, of, of the work. And uh, this, uh, those parerga, parerga uh, that uh, I have uh, 35 minutes, is it? Uh, now, now 33. Uh, uh, so, uh, okay. And uh, those paragraphs are four. First, uh, the contingency. Secondly, the supplementarity. Fourth, uh, the monumentality. And a third, uh, the monumentality. And fourth, the documentality. I don't explain why, what does this uh, 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 obscure word now, because I hope to explain them in the, the presentation. And then I start with uh, the contingency. Uh, as you all know, uh, Derrida said uh, uh, that uh, deconstruction is what happens. And uh, what happens among many things uh, in, uh, in the world now uh, and uh, creates uh, this relationship between philosophy and architecture? I have an hypothesis. The real reason is a problem that concerns neither philosophy nor uh, architecture, but uh, contemporary art. Well, this is a case of contingency, but uh, uh, not a real contingency. It is a surprising uh, a contingency between nature and culture. But what uh, is a cultural contingency is a, a, a quote from, uh, uh, from Marcel Duchamp, who said, a point I want uh, uh, very much, very much to establish is that the choice of these ready-mades was never dictated by aesthetic delectation. This choice was based on a, of a reaction of visual indifference with at the same time a total absence of good or bad taste. In fact, a complete anesthesia. With uh, these words, uh, uh, Duchamp, uh, in fact, uh, underlines uh, the commonsensical view on the art of uh, the <coughs> last century. Uh, art has nothing to do with the beauty, not necessarily to do with the beauty, there is not a, a necessary relationship between art and beauty, and uh, everything can be a work of art. Uh, and this, uh, this, is, uh, uh, this creates uh, some, uh, some problem because, for instance, close uh, to Boston exists uh, a MOBA, and, uh, and MOBA is a museum of bad art, and the problem on the museum of bad art is to, to justify why uh, this uh, work of art stays in this museum and not in another museum. Because, uh, 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 yes, in fact, uh, this is bad art, but in fact, uh, it's not a surprise to go in a gallery and to find something like this. Why not? <coughs> and this because the assumption is that everything can be an artwork. 
this is uh, the conceptual idea that stays not only in uh, Duchamp's mind, but in the commonsensical view of all the people now about art. <laughs> not exactly all the people, but there is a commonsensical view that everything can be... Uh, 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 and now there is a, uh, what uh, Arthur Danto called the transfiguration of the commonplace. Uh, yeah, I take uh, this object, I put uh, the object uh, on, the, on another part, I, uh, I put a title, for instance, uh, Melancholy of the, in the Morning, and uh, uh, I, I, I put uh, uh, a signature, which is equally uh, and this became a work of art. This, uh, this is not only, I repeat, the idea of Duchamp, it's the idea of uh, practically everybody. Uh, I have uh, also uh, 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 an uh, experimental proof. This, uh, this uh, Kaninchen uh, is uh, uh, owned, uh, it's not exactly the Kaninchen of uh, uh, a painter, a uh, good friend of uh, uh, Jacques and Marguerite Derrida, Valeria Adami. Uh, the name is Sego, but uh, uh, um, the, the interesting thing is that uh, uh, four years ago, uh, Valeria Adami and uh, me were walking uh, in Turin, speaking about uh, the commonsensical idea that uh, everything can be a work of art. And uh, uh, at a given moment, there, there are many people uh, say, oh, how is beautiful, they were was not prepared, they, they, they was not able to see, see that a real work of art does not need to be beautiful, but uh, uh, at a given moment uh, we decided, and if, if we say that he has been exposed at the MoMA, and uh, 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 a lady came and said, oh, how beautiful this uh, dog, and uh, Valeria Dami, it's, uh, it has been exposed at the moment. And uh, uh, the lady has no sign of surprise. It's uh, very common. In fact, uh, there are big horses uh, has been exposed, human beings exposed, bones exposed. So why not uh, the Valeria Dami's uh, uh, dog uh, should not be exposed at the moment? Uh, and uh, well, what is important is that uh, uh, this lady was not uh, a, a, a philosopher, an architect, <coughs> an art criticist, but uh, simply a, a worker uh, in, uh, in a town. And so this is uh, uh, the real basis of the, the, the radical transformation of uh, uh, the or relationship to art uh, from, from Duchamp or not. Note, here happened something surprising that leads us in the direction of architecture. Surprisingly enough, we admit that everything can be an object of art, but we don't admit that everything can be an object of design. I, I speak about uh, uh, a commonsensical ground, but uh, in fact, uh, both objects are, have a design, of course. But we suppose, uh, the common sense suppose that the object of left, of, ra uh, of right, sorry, is uh, design and the other not. Is, not. is not design. Also, this is mysterious. Like if design uh, play a supplementary role to art, because since art has no more a, a relationship, a close relationship, to uh, beauty, so that design uh, need to uh, uh, replace uh, the need for beauty uh, uh, in a supplementary way. And this is very clear because uh, in many cases uh, the, the search for beauty and for simplicity uh, is much more important for design than function, which is, uh, in a sense, paradoxical. Other empirical tests. This is uh, a, a room of uh, a hotel in Naples. Uh, in this hotel, there were uh, 50 professors of philosophy in 2009 uh, in a big conference on uh, Derrida. And, uh, all the 50 professors of philosophers, I, I would not say that they were 
genius, they were all genius, but they, they were not stupid, in fact, uh, I suppose. Nevertheless, nevertheless, they all needed to call uh, the concierge in order to know how to switch on the TV, and, and it's because uh, there was a, an aesthetic rule that supposed uh, that the bulldog, bulldog should be hidden because uh, the bulldog is not beautiful. And uh, there is uh, an ugliness of uh, the, the bulldog. And you, uh, uh, when you are at home, you know your TV and you can find the bottom. But when you are in a hotel, it's a catastrophe. Not that sometimes also the people uh, of the hotel do not know how to. Uh, 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 and this was uh, clearly a search of beauty. Uh, I will not uh, underestimate uh, the paradox of the thing, because uh, uh, you can uh, put uh, everything in, uh, in a museum uh, of uh, modern art, and uh, everything could be in principle uh, a work of art, but there is uh, this uh, bizarre search of beauty in uh, uh, functional objects, also, this is another very common experience. Where is the button? It's very, always in, uh, it's, uh, it's very well hidden, and the reason why is uh, 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 that uh, it's not beautiful. A button is not beautiful. Also, uh, this in the train, if you see that uh, this is in Italy, which is special in order to the search of beauty, uh, if you sit uh, closer to the door, the people does not find the button because it's very, very well hidden. And uh, there is sometimes uh, a, a, a target uh, who says uh, uh, the button is there, but the target, <laughs> but, uh, but the target uh, is uh, the tag. Uh, is uh, sorry, the tag uh, is. Uh, uh, it's more evident than the button, uh, because it's functional and the button should be beautiful. And uh, 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 this makes that the people are always uh, in stress uh, in order to. And uh, uh, last uh, empirical case, uh, this was a, a surprising door uh, in, uh, in uh, a train in Italy. Uh, that, uh, existed for 20 years, more or less, which was a, a surprising example of, uh, of design, because uh, there was not an angle, but a bar, like this. And uh, nothing on the bar could tell you uh, whether you should be made this movement, or this movement, or this movement, or this movement. Uh, and since uh, it was in local trains, you can be uh, 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 imprisoned in the, in, the, in, in the train before uh, uh, the, the train stops. And this is a possible result. And uh, I am sure that the reason was that they did that this, this bar, very elemental, is beautiful. And uh, the search of uh, beauty uh, 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 leaves people in this direction. Note uh, that the search of uh, beauty makes also this kind of tapestry that makes uh, a, 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 multiple, a multiple search of hidden buttons. <laughs> uh, well, and this is. Uh, 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 in this range uh, enters the centrality of architecture because the supplementarity uh, is uh, architecture gives a supplement uh, of beauty to art. This is needed, this is strictly needed. It's not uh, the, first, uh, the first need of the architecture is uh, to give a supplementary uh, beauty to the art. But uh, it happens that in our century, or the last century, architecture because, uh, became more and more important for art because it was called to give uh, this uh, supplementary uh, uh, supplement of beauty. And this was a movement. Uh, there are other, other strategies. For instance, if you. Uh, uh, there are people who say that uh, uh, Brillo box uh, is the same thing uh, like uh, uh, the uh, urinatorio of Duchamp. It's not, it's not the case at all because uh, it's not ready made, it's made, uh, it's, uh, it, it's, it's constructed, it's uh, uh, greater than the original, uh, has not uh, 
the, uh, the object inside, so it's the magnification of an object which is beautiful in itself because uh, the object put in the, uh, in, uh, in the supermarket uh, requires uh, to, be, uh, to, be, to be beautiful. And uh, for instance, uh, another, another strategy is uh, the museum shop. Museum shop is a, a very singular object that uh, exists more and more. There is, exists also the restaurant of the museum, which uh, creates a, a form of reconfortation for the visitors. But uh, uh, like uh, the white wine in the gallery. But uh, uh, the museum shop uh, contains objects which are supposed to be beautiful because the people buy this object, they can buy uh, the, the great object uh, in the museum, but they buy the, those other objects, and they should be, at least in principle, beautiful, because the people want to bring them in their home. Of course, <coughs> not everything, and not always they are they're beautiful. Uh, for instance, uh, at the Metropolitan Museum, uh, there is a uh, cravat, uh, 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 how is the name? Uh, in the uh, tie. A, tie, a tie, a tie with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, a lot of flower. Uh, I'm not sure that it's uh, so beautiful. Maybe the people say, but I buy it in, uh, at uh, the Metropolitan Museum. I don't know, but uh, the, the, the existence of the museum shop re enters in this uh, supplementary way of uh, helping art uh, uh, in uh, its uh, lack of uh, beauty. And this uh, also explains why, for, for instance, uh, Punta della Dogana, you enter and you find uh, several different kinds of work. There are beautiful work, uh, ugly works. Uh, uh, medium works, uh, interesting works, not interesting at all works, uh, as uh, happen in every museum, and not only the modern museum, not uh, also if you go to the Louvre, it's the same story. But, uh, and, and people, people enter, because uh, the vocabulary of people is always a vocabulary of uh, contemplation, they say, oh, how beautiful. Uh, it's false, uh, uh, because, uh, because you can say it's beautiful, the need was not the beautiful. But, but what is interesting is uh, that uh, uh, the context is uh, classical beauty, a classical architectural beauty. And this is also the, the history of all the uh, museum of modern art, which are also uh, a paradigmatic example of architecture. This, I find, not uh, accidental. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright made this uh, 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 museum in the moment, exactly in the moment in which uh, there was this turn of the art. So you need uh, this kind of uh, museum in order to uh, uh, put this kind of work of art. So all uh, uh, the flourishing, I believe that are still much more uh, museum in the last century than in all the history before, also because the museum is a recent uh, creation. But it's always uh, created by, uh, and sometimes also, sometimes by the need of supplement the art with the architecture. Uh, sometimes uh, with, uh, uh, Reproduce, not always, but in some cases it's, re it's reproduced uh, the, the, the problem uh, with the design because this is uh, Alvaro Sizda's uh, restructuration of uh, the Museum of uh, Modern Art in uh, Naples, Madre. A, a perfect uh, and very, very smart uh, restructuration, but since uh, uh, also Alvaro Sizda finds that uh, buttons are not beautiful. Uh, he put only one button for all uh, the building. There are no buttons in the building and no plugs in, uh, in the building. And uh, this creates uh, problems because uh, if you want to read uh, the newspaper, in, uh, if the, the director wants to read uh, the newspaper in the evening, you should uh, 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 make off uh, the, the light in all uh, the, uh, 
<laughs> of course. And uh, the, this, this is uh, nothing theoretical, but it's only practical. Uh, a, a moment in which modern and uh, casual pop architecture can uh, cooperate uh, with the uh, ancient architecture. As you see, this is uh, as a plaquia in front of uh, uh, the Parthenon. And this is the uh, OVS uh, uh, supermarket. Uh, there is uh, the light of the sun that uh, uh, illuminates uh, the, uh, this, uh, this, this structure, okay, this, this kind of mirror. The mirror brings uh, a mystic uh, uh, rose light uh, through the plaquia <coughs> and hits uh, a Byzantine church, uh, which is uh, mystically illuminated by the uh, OBS uh, uh, supermarket. Uh, but uh, this is a, a pure casual event. Or maybe not, who knows. Uh, fourth point, uh, monumentality. Architecture has to do with the space in the form of a monument. This, uh, uh, is, uh, this is why usually uh, an interesting, an interesting uh, philosophical question could be uh, when uh, a work becomes to be a work of architecture and not, for instance, of design of uh, interior design and it becomes because uh, it, it requires a certain uh, size it's a question of size uh, the architecture can be uh, uh, something small like this can be architecture uh, in any case and this is why so for instance this is a Zukov uh, in front uh, of uh, uh, the red uh, place and this is uh, uh, the Berlin Wall, this is Leipzig, this is Nietzsche Archive. All these kind of things are, uh, there is an intrinsic, uh, yes, I, I said that it was wanted not to be an essentialist in, uh, in this uh, uh, rhapsodic analysis of markets <coughs> of architecture, but in, in a sense there is something which is intrinsically monumental in uh, the uh, arch architecture. And uh, uh, also there is something which is intrinsically documental. Architecture has to do with the time in the form of a document. I mean, uh, this, was, this was the reason why at the very beginning I quoted her, but what remained? Because I, I, I feel that uh, it's not so evident that what remains is founded by the poets, because uh, a poem can disappear and uh, it's uh, not, a, not always a catastrophe. Can be a catastrophe, can not be a catastrophe, but uh, uh, in fact uh, the architecture remains much more. There is uh, this kind of responsibility of the architecture which has to do with the time. The, the architect uh, is always, uh, at least in principle, because maybe that sometimes it is not, that not happens, has to do with the time and making now something which in principle will uh, exist uh, in the 2000th century. Not in all the culture is so. Uh, we know that in Japan it's different and so on and so forth. But uh, say the uh, uh, occidental uh, uh, or ethnocentric concept of architecture says that architecture to, to do with the time in the form of uh, a document. And uh, this uh, is much more urgent today uh, because the rest of the document is of all uh, age can disappear. What will remain of all our files, uh, of uh, emails, uh, of uh, uh, texts? They, uh, they, 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 they will disappear. They will clearly disappear. This will be a, a, a crucial problem, as we know, in the next uh, uh, decades, decades. But what remains is, uh, of course, uh, things like this. Maybe that uh, all that will remain of orange will be this one, like uh, uh, 
the most that remains of ancient time are objects of various sort related to architecture. This is Belgrade, and you uh, see still remains some signs of, uh, of a work. So this uh, is uh, why architecture is a document much more durable than every other, any other document. Uh, the, <coughs> the memory of the work can disappear, but uh, since uh, these uh, documents and monuments remain, then remain the memory of the world. Something similar uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in another sense happened with the Flakturm in uh, Berlin, because, uh, you know, it was uh, built uh, in so solid and German way that it was not possible to destroy it. Uh, the Allied uh, renounced to destroy it, put uh, uh, bombs inside uh, and, and they, they renounced it. At, uh, at a given moment it was rebuilt uh, with uh, a museum of modern art, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and this, uh, this is uh, a, a destiny we should uh, reflect on. And, uh, well, uh, last, uh, last consideration of the moment. There is also to speak uh, uh, about uh, uh, this vocabulary of uh, the intrinsic. There is also an intrinsic relationship, uh, it's not me the first that know this point, uh, that relates uh, uh, architecture to the death because of... Uh, you, you usually uh, uh, read, uh, make a comparison that the architecture has to do with life because people live uh, in, uh, in, uh, the, in, uh, in the houses. Yes, but uh, also the people dies uh, and uh, remains uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, coffins uh, and uh, uh, graves. <coughs> this is the Recoleta Buenos Aires, uh, the, the, the parents of Borges, which is uh, graved in uh, a, she is great in Geneva, I believe. This is Casares. You can see also here monumental and, uh, and documental. This is a horror scene in Recoleta in Buenos Aires, really an impressive uh, horror. Uh, uh, uh. But in fact, uh, it's a city. It's, it's bad, but uh, a cemetery is, uh, is a city. Uh, uh, it's, uh, so to say, the final city. And, uh, uh, with uh, uh, real estate, and uh, <laughs> this is uh, the town of uh, Ero Peron, uh, always with fresh flowers, and uh, <coughs> and this is it, it is not uh, 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 something uh, casual, I, I, I believe, accidental that. Uh, uh, the first uh, uh, example of uh, monumental architecture are the pyramids, which are uh, uh, at the same time document of the power of uh, uh, the pharaoh and the time of the pharaoh. Uh, this uh, 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 this uh, uh, suggests to us uh, this kind of... So I, I spoke of uh, many various and not related things about architecture. It's like uh, to speak, uh, like Woody Allen joke, about to speak uh, about uh, Anna Karienina, I spoke about uh, Russia. Uh, well, uh, but uh, um, in fact, uh, I'm uh, convinced that the increasing historical role of architecture now is somehow related with the problem of contemporary art, is supplementary, and uh, the essential role of architecture is uh, related instead to this uh, uh, monumentality and documentality uh, which is uh, related uh, to, the, uh, to the death and not only to the life. And this is a quote uh, that you really <coughs> Uh, uh, Jacques uh, Derrida was uh, uh, spoke in many, many cases of pyramids, 
uh, this was clearly one of his examples of uh, arch architecture. He uh, uh, put uh, the pyramids uh, in uh, the, 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 the beginnings of uh, uh, in the cover of, uh, of glass, uh, <coughs> the, 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 the popular edition. He speaks uh, of uh, the pyramids, for instance, the Quira Pyramid, the text uh, on uh, Hegel. And this is a passage uh, of, uh, and also Hegel is obsessed by pyramids, but because of uh, the, the, the recent discoveries of uh, Champollion. And this is a quote uh, from La Différence, who says, uh, uh, pyramid, not uh, a limit uh, to be passed, but uh, uh, pier of uh, stone uh, on a wall uh, to decipher in another way a text without uh, uh, voice. Uh, I believe that uh, this text without voice is uh, an excellent uh, definition of uh, architecture. Many thanks.